Hello everyone, welcome back to Obsidian Soft. My name is Ahmed and today we're going to be discussing Arduino sensors. Specifically my favorite one, which is the ultrasonic sensor. This is the third video of our Arduino series. So if you are new to this, I would recommend watching and beginning from our first episode. As always, we will be using Pictoblox, which is a scratch based programming software so that we can program our Arduino easily. The ultrasonic sensor is quite small, 4 by 5 cm by 2 cm and it has these two cylinders in the front with metal grills on them. It has four pins in the back through which it connects to the Arduino. What makes the ultrasonic sensor really cool is that it can accurately measure distance without any visible form of laser or anything like that. It's completely wireless. It works by shooting out sound waves which are so high pitched that our human ears cannot even hear them. It shoots it out of one cylinder and then it, the sound waves bounce off the object in front of it and return to the sensor. The sensor automatically calculates how long it takes for the sound wave to reflect off of the object and then it converts that into centimeters which I think is really cool. Let's begin by connecting it to the Arduino. What you will need for this tutorial is obviously your ultrasonic sensor, your Arduino Uno which is the easiest Arduino to use, the connecting wire for the Arduino so we can connect it to the computer and program it and some male to female jumper wires which you can identify from this hole in one end and the pin at the other end. If we take a look at the back of the ultrasonic sensor we will see four pins. VCC which is the power pin, ground which is obviously ground, echo and trigger which are our two data wires. To connect them I'm going to be using four jumper cables and I'm going to color code them so that red goes to VCC so power, brown is ground so it connects to the ground pin and yellow and orange can be randomly connected to echo and trigger although we will have to remember this. Once this is connected to our sensor we can go to our Arduino. I'm going to connect the red wire which is our VCC pin to 5 volts as the sensor requires 5 volts. The ground wire goes to ground pin and the trigger and echo wires can go to any digital pins which are these pins which go from 0 to 13. I'm going to connect mine to 8 and 9. Once these are connected we can plug in our Arduino to our computer and open PictoBlox. Once Spectroblox is open, we go to the board menu on the top and choose the Arduino Uno. It will bring up the connection page on which we can see COM3 is our Arduino and so we will connect. As I've told you before, before we do anything, we're going to install our firmware onto the Arduino which allows it to communicate with our computer. Now let's check out our special menu which is the sensors one. You can see there are multiple blocks for all kinds of sensors including digital, analog, moisture, humidity but the one we're after is the ultrasonic one. Now let's go up and find the when green flag clicked block. This will be used to start our program. So let's bring it here. Now we can put a forever block under it which means that any code we put inside will be looped forever when we start the code. Now we can put a say block inside so that our avatar on the right says whatever is inside. Right now if I click the green flag it will keep on saying hello but we are going to stop the program and replace it with the ultrasonic sensor value so that we can so that the avatar says our ultrasonic measurement in centimeters. Now this is where your memory comes into play because we have to remember the trigger and echo pins we connected in which case it was for me 8 and 9 so I'm going to select it over here and that's literally it if we click start you can see that our avatar is saying the distance in centimeters from our ultrasonic sensor right now it's displaying a huge amount like 200 or 100 centimeters because my ultrasonic sensor is, straight, is pointed straight up towards my roof however the cool thing is that if I turn it to its side and hold something like my hand or a remote in front of it. If I bring it closer you can see that the distance is becoming less and less as I bring the object closer. 
and then it becomes larger as I take it away. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and like and leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and goodbye.